Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-1491, also known as the Cameraman. This particular SCP falls under the object class of safe, so don't worry, we won't be in any immediate danger. Let's dive into the mysterious world of SCP-1491 and see what secrets it holds. SCP-1491 is to be kept in a standard humanoid containment cell. No extra special procedures are needed. Any non-destructive testing requests should be submitted to the responsible directing researcher, currently Dr. Richard Littlefield. SCP-1491's abnormal characteristics were discovered and the police were reviewing closed-circuit television footage in town center after a robbery. SCP-1491 was found and identified in its residence during this process. SCP-1491, also known as the Cameraman, was subjected to a series of tests to observe its anomalous behavior and capabilities. In the first test, SCP-1491 was placed in a containment cell with no specific instructions. When observed by the naked eye, it appeared to be a human male wearing a standard-issue foundation jumpsuit. The subject was seen sitting, pacing, and sleeping. However, when viewed through a video recording, SCP-1491 appeared to be a brand speed camera, displaying movement without any discernible means of locomotion. It was able to stand upright and slide along the floor, hop up onto a chair, and lay rigid and immobile on a bed. This behavior raised questions about the nature of the subject and its ability to maintain its form in different environments. The second test involved placing SCP-1491 inside a clear perspex box with a lid measuring 1.5 m x 1.5 m x 1.5 m. The subject was instructed to sit inside and close the lid. Despite its 3 meter height, SCP-1491 was able to fit inside the box without bending or folding, causing confusion among the researchers. This anomalous behavior prompted further investigation and consultation with physicists to understand how SCP-1491 was able to defy conventional spatial limitations. In the third test, SCP-1491 was tasked with picking up a small rubber ball from a table. However, instead of physically interacting with the ball, it appeared to cause the ball to levitate and hover in mid-air without any visible means of support. The ball then returned to the table in a similar fashion. This perplexing display led the researcher to question the true nature of SCP-1491 and its ability to manipulate objects in its vicinity, raising philosophical considerations about perception and reality. The fourth test involved SCP-1491 standing beside a closed test track at Sector 25 while a brand car, belonging to Dr. Littlefield, was driven past at 130 km per hour. During this test, the subject's infrared flash was observed to operate, and Dr. Littlefield received a speeding fine from the local police, despite the test taking place on private land. This unexpected outcome was deemed a minor containment breach, prompting a warning to avoid similar tests in the future. Overall, the test results revealed the enigmatic and perplexing nature of SCP-1491, raising more questions than answers about its true identity and capabilities. <laughs>